Hey Yogi, welcome to class. If you're new here, I'm Ree, this is Burley, and if you are returning, welcome back. We are stoked to practice with you again. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, it just helps us to grow our teeny, teeny, tiny little spot in the YouTube universe. And if you get to the end of the session and you enjoyed it, hit the like button and drop us a comment. Let us know what you think. If you want to tag us during your flow on Instagram, you can find find us at the handle at Riri's Yoga Channel. No, Riri's, yeah, at Riri's Yoga Channel. <laughs> anyway, all that done. Um, no props needed for class today. So when you're ready, come down to a child's pose. Any kind of child's pose you like. So you could take the knees nice and wide here and just come down. You could bring the knees together. It is all your call. So settling into whichever option that you have chosen and just marking the start of our little journey today. Start to take some nice long inhales followed by soft long exhales. Allow the breath to become a rhythmic voice or a rhythmic sound in your body. So try to make that breath long, maybe even a bit loud, and let it be your anchor into your practice today. Whatever will show up for you. Slowly walk your hands back to your knees. Bring your knees together if they were apart. I'll sweep the arms up, reach through the fingertips, drishti will lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach up, reach through the fingertips, touch the fingertips together, and then exhale. Elbows are gonna draw down towards your hips. You're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Full retraction here. Inhale to lift. Exhale to cactus. Nice. From here, come forward and start to take some circles with the wrists. So circle in your shoulders over your wrists. And this flow is going to focus a lot on crow pose. So we really do want the wrists, as always, um, but more so today, to be really warm. So take the circle one way and then the other and feel the weight transfer across right to left and left to right. Really grip the mat with the fingers here. Imagine you're trying to drag those fingertips back towards your wrist. Nice. Feel free to pour the ground and move the hands around here. You can still move kind of through the torso, but just feel what it's like to just pick up the weight and transfer it from side to side. Nice. If that feels good, you could tuck the toes, lift the knees, and then just see what it feels like to walk the opposite hand and the op opposite foot up and down the mat. Trying to stay low, feeling, you know, animalistic, <laughs> exploratory. Notice if you have to kind of check in with your coordination. Nice. And come back to center. Switching the hands so they point back towards, or fingers point back towards the knees. On an inhale, lift the chest, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, cow pose. Exhale, push away. Inhale, roll through to cow. Exhale, push back to cat. Inhale, through to cow. And exhale, to cat. Come back to neutral. 
Nice. From here, sit the hands, uh, sorry, sit the butt back towards the heels for flying integration. So those of you that practice with me regularly will know what this is, but it's essentially a lalasana prep. So take the hands outside of the knees, turn the hands kind of one click out, just so you've got some rotation through the upper arm bones. And then take an inhale, grip the mat, lift the spine, on an exhale, drive your knees into your collarbones, tuck your chin to the chest. I'm not going to because it makes the mic sound a bit crazy, but you want to really tuck the chin in and really kind of keep the hips at roughly the height of the knees. Be here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, slow, lower on one nice shake the hands out if that was a lot maybe come forward and tap the feet if that also was a lot <laughs> and then from here tuck your toes lift your hips Adho Mukha Svanasana downward dog nice we'll just take a few waves forward here some vinyasas just to warm up so inhale lift heels bend knees spring forward ripple through the Chin, and then exhale take a full push up come back to down dog roll th exhale push up and come back down dog remember you can drop the knees at any point here on the push up inhale roll forward ripple through exhale push up back to dog one more inhale roll it through High plank pose. Exhale, push up. Down dog. Awesome. One more roll forward just to lower you all the way to the mat. Nice. From here, take your hands out into 10 and 2 for oscillating cobra. Lift the elbows. The hips are heavy. Lower body is grounded. Head to the mat. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades together to pick up the heart. Lift the head, lift the chest. Exhale, come down. Inhale, pick up the chest by drawing the shoulders together. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. Next inhale, roll over to the right. Come up, look over the right shoulder. Exhale, look over the left shoulder as you roll down. Inhaling up the left, looking to the right and exhale, roll down. Inhale up the right, exhale down the left. Go at your own cadence here, moving from side to side just for, you know, another few breaths. Really getting into the shoulders, the mid back, even the neck, just getting the neck kind of feeling free and open. Finish the circuit wherever you are. So for me, that's one more up the left and down the right. Nice. From here, take your arms out into a T. So left hand's gonna come straight out of its socket, right hand under the shoulder, and just roll onto the outside of your left hip here, stacking the feet. Either keep the head lifted and looking straight to the right. So for me, I'm kind of looking straight at the plant. Don't look down towards the feet. We wanna keep the cervical spine long. Or you can let the head drop, but again, try and keep the spine nice and neutral by not looking down. And then if you want more, you're going to take the right foot and just reach it up and over towards your left hand. As if your right foot is like chasing to get to your right wrist. Feel the shoulder just nicely kind of crank open here. And then roll it back to centre. Switching sides, right arm straight out of the socket, left hand comes in, roll over, stay here, or take the left leg and the left toes are gonna chase for the, like, the right hand. Keep breathing here. 
try to look straight over to the left side of your mat and not down. Roll back to center. And then we're just going to wave side to side here, kind of going at your own pace. So left arm long, take the right toes over and then switch. Right arm long, left, ooh, kicking my plant. Left toes over, switch, barely kicking barely, which I never want to do. Left arm long, right leg over, switch, right arm long, left leg over, switch. And the leg is optional. You can just be switching from side to side. You're gonna get the benefit either way. Last time here, over to the right, and then back to center. Nice, from here, we're gonna come into a Sphinx pose. So forearms down to the mat and really start to draw your upper body through your arms. Remember to kind of tuck your tailbone a little bit here. So I dump into my lower back awfully all the time. My teacher is always um, reminding me to be aware of my uh, kind of loose lower back. So um, if that's you too, just try and tuck the tailbone under slightly. So you kind of come out a little bit of dumping into that kind of lumbar region and you more are trying to be open through the top or the mid of your back. Nice. From here, let the right arm come kind of halfway or diagonally, I should say, and then bend your um, left foot in. This might be enough here, just bend in the foot. If you want more, you're going to catch hold of the left foot with your left hand and then spin that left shoulder, uh, the left elbow up and just start to take a nice stretch here through the quads. Try not to dump into that right shoulder as I felt I was. Slowly release. Switch inside, so left arm across the diagonal. Draw the uh, right heel towards your butt. And if you want to, you're going to catch hold of the top of the right foot and then kind of bring that elbow up towards the ceiling. Push out of your left shoulder, don't cave in. And just feel a nice stretch here. Tune into your breath. Let the breath ease the stretch. And then slowly release. Awesome. From here, tuck the toes, place the hands underneath the shoulders, and then just rise up into plank pose. Push back into downward facing dog. Take a few awakening A's here just to kind of get into the whole body nice and warm. So from here, lift heels, bend knees, exhale, step or jump your feet either side of the hands. Inhale, active squat. Exhale to stand. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, look up. Exhale back down to active squat. Inhale, hands to the mat. Exhale, vinyasa. Take a half or a full push up here. Or just hold your plank nice and strong, your core. And then exhale, down dog. Nice, from here, look forward, inhale, lift heels, bend knees, exhale, step, or jump feet to the outside of the hands. Inhale, active squat, exhale to stand. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, back to active squat. Inhale, hands to the mat, look forward. Exhale, step or jump back, and your vinyasa. Dropping knees and forearms, coming into up dog, exhaling back. Down dog, nice. Last one of these. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, exhale, step or jump the feet outside the hands. Inhale, active squat, exhale to stand. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, back down, active squat. Inhale, hands to the mat, prepare. Exhale, step or jump back. Find your vinyasa. But back to heels, forearms drop. Come through into up dog. Exhale, push back. Down dog. Nice work. <clears throat> Looking to the top of the mat, lift heels, bend knees. On your exhale, step or jump your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold down. Inhale, rise. Urdhva Hastasana, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands through to the center. Inhale, deep bend of your knees. Lift the arms up, come into chair pose. 
Exhale, lift the heels up and slowly drop your butt to your heels. Our knees are chasing collarbones. Plant the hands, grip the mat, look forward, come high up onto the toes and find your bakasana, crow pose. Nice. Once you've found it, see if you can bring your right knee into the chest and then drop the right foot, taking the left foot back, lowering the left knee. Inhale to low lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Take a half split. Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, rebend that front knee and rise up into a high lunge. Exhale, leaning forward, come into Crouching Warrior. Straighten through the leg, traditional Warrior Three. Rebend that front knee, hands to the mat, left foot down, right foot back, come into Down Dog. Nice. Look forward, inhale, step or jump on the exhale, feet in between the hands. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana, fall down. Inhale, Urdhva Uttanasana, Urdhva Hastasana, I should say. Exhale, hands through. Inhale to come into your Utkatasana. Exhale, lift the heels. Slowly lower the butt down to the heels. Hands to the mat. Come into your crow pose. Bakasana. Hold your crow or see if your left foot can just, left knee, sorry, can come into the middle and then drop it. Next to the left thumb, right leg goes back. Rise into low lunge. Exhale, come into your Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Feel like you're really plugging that left hip back into its socket here just to feel the benefit of that stretch. Inhale, rebend that left knee, rise up into a high lunge. Exhale, lean forward, come into crouching warrior. And then straighten traditional warrior. Inhale, slowly hands back to the mat, right foot goes back. Left foot goes to meet it. From here, we'll roll through into a high plank. And exhale, vinyasa. Drop in the knees and the forearms. Coming through into Upward Facing Dog. Exhaling to Downward Facing Dog. And forward, lift heels, bend knees on your exhale. Step or jump the feet in between the hands. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, Samasthiti. Nice. Inhale, deep bend of both knees, reach the arms up, Utkatasana. Lift high onto the balls of the feet and slowly lower down. Nice. Hands to the mat, so work on your Bakasana or just bring in that one uh, knee into the center. So finding your way into your crow pose first. If it feels good, draw the right knee in. And then drop the right foot, take the left foot back, drop the left knee, rise up and Janayasana, inhale, exhale, hands or no hands, coming to Ardha Hanumanasana, half split, really pull or draw, I should say, the right toes back and keep the spine long. Inhale, replant the right foot, rise up into a high lunge. Leaning forward, come into Crouching Warrior. Exhale, straighten. Ooh, feel the wobbles to Warrior Three. Nice. Deep bend of that knee, drop the hands. Left foot goes back and right foot goes back. Beautiful. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, step or jump feet in between the hands. Inhale. Urda Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Samastitihi. Inhale, Utkatasana. Deep bend of those knees. 
Lift the heels high, exhale to lower, butt to the heels. Knees, triceps, triceps, knees. Come into your crow pose, Bakasana. If you feel like it, you're gonna draw the left knee in and then drop the left foot, right foot reaches back. Drop the back knee, inhale to Anjaneyasana. Exhale to half split, Ardha Hanumanasana. Keep the chest kind of going up and over. Keep dragging that left heel into the mat and pulling it back. Inhale to rise, high lunge. Exhale, lean forward. Come through into that crouching warrior and then straight into warrior three. Rebend that left knee, hands to the mat. Right foot goes back, left foot goes back. Taking a vinyasa, so inhale, roll forward, exhale, your push up. Dropping knees, dropping forearms, looking forward. Coming through into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. Beautiful work. Walk your hands back to your heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slide your hands under your feet. Deep bend of the knees, straight arms. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your elbows deeply. Bring the chest to the thighs. Coming into Padang Hastasana. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, release the hands. Nice. Come all the way down into a toes pose. So we'll just try uh, Balakakasana, baby crow. So um, this is a great option for anyone with wrist issues. Actually, when I broke my wrist, I was doing loads of this just so I felt like I was still being able to take part in a vinyasa class that had some arm balances in. So take the arms to the backs. Uh, sorry, take the knees to the backs of the arms like you would for regular crow and then plant the hands down and bring the forearms down to the mat lean forward and then slowly you're just going to pick your feet and squeeze them in towards your butt the more you squeeze the lighter you will be you're really close to the floor here so if you're like wow i'm not very high up that's fine you won't be and then whenever you've had enough you'll come out nice so either have another go at that or we'll just have a go at jumping into crow from down dog. So we won't do much of these because we've done quite a bit in this short class. So Balakakasana is a, a nice one to keep going with. If not, we're going to try jumping into crow. So walk your feet kind of closer in than usual in your down dog. The key here is you want to bend the elbows so that you've got somewhere for the backs of your knees to land, either just outside of the tricep or on the back of. So if you keep the arms straight, you're essentially kind of asking a huge amount of the body. Um, whereas if you, as you jump, bend the elbows and look forward, you are going to give yourself kind of like a, somewhere to, to aim for, I guess. Might take a couple of goes. <laughs> so, coming into your shortened down dog, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, bend the elbows, and just spring into crow. That one was quite messy there, but you get the picture. We'll have another go, see if we can clean that up a bit. Hopefully that was more successful for you. So shortened down dog, look forward. Remember to bend the elbows as you jump. Once you catch it, and as you're catching it, really draw the feet into the butt. And then lower back down. Let's have one more go of that, depending on how successful that was for you. And you could pause and just keep going. Obviously lots of this will <laughs> become very tiring very quickly, so try not to just go crazy on it. But shorten the down dog and hopping in. Here 
If you want to from here, you can jump back. And vinyasa. Coming back to down dog. Nice, and then jump in, feet in between the hands to come down onto your butt. And roll all the way down. <laughs> nice, feel the energy whirling around you. It might be nice to just kind of let all that go. So drop the feet to the mat, cross your right ankle over your left and gently push your right knee away from you. If you've got a wall nearby, then pop your foot on the wall, the left foot. It's going to feel really nice. Make you feel really open. <laughs> Draw the knee into the chest, the left knee, and catch the front of the shin or the back of the ankle, or maybe catch the back of the shin and just start to straighten the left leg, giving those hamstrings a bit of release after the ask of all of the bakasana variations, which inevitably require really active backs of the legs. Slowly rebend and drop the left foot, switch inside, left ankle over, right thigh, gently pushing that left thigh away from you just to encourage the hip open. Again, if you're at the wall, pop your right foot on the wall and scoot your butt in towards the wall until you get to the intensity you want. Or catch hold of the shin with your left and your right hand and draw the little structure into you. Might feel nice as we did on the first side to clasp it behind the right, um, uh, the right thigh and just draw the right toes up to the sky, straightening through those right hamstrings, flexing through the right foot. And then when you've had enough, rebend the right foot, release the left foot, come down. Let's take happy baby just to feel like happy babies. <laughs> draw the knees into the chest. Arms on the inside, catching the outside of the feet. And then drawing your knees in towards your armpit. Pressing the lower back into the mat. And then whenever you've had enough, release that. Maybe take the feet together and open up a supta baddha Or just take your regular shavasana, your call. Let everything hang heavy on the mat. Surrender to the practice. Let whatever happened in the practice, maybe that was like super easy for you and it's kind of all things that are in your bag. But maybe there were some new things in there today or you're still working through crow, so there's like, you know, some stuff there that you were just working on. You know, just let it go now. It's all done. <laughs> Be in the present and leave that behind. You can reflect on it later. Close down the eyes. And just release. Try to let the practice just wash over you like a beautiful wave. You've worked really hard in this practice, so stay here for as long as you can, as long as feels good. This is where I will leave you. As always, it's an absolute pleasure to practice with you on YouTube. So until we meet again, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, Yogi.